Is Charlamagne one of the greatest radio personalities of all time? It's your man J Rod here. And many of us have grown up listening to Charlemagne. I mean, he popped off in the early 2000s. The Breakfast Club has been going for almost 20 years now. I mean, he made Lil Mama cry. He got jumped at the radio stations. He went from that to interviewing potential political candidates, interviewing activists. So now it got me asking, is Charlemagne the greatest radio personality of all time? Now, Charlemagne is one of the most controversial personalities. I mean, people hate this man. But you gotta be honest, he got some of the greatest interviews of all time. I mean, one day he's having a hilarious ratchet interview with Webby. Then the next day he having a deep conversation with Minister Farrakhan. Who else can do that? Not to mention, he's a pioneer of podcasting. I mean, love the guy or hate the guy, but he got the credentials. He pushed the envelope when a lot of people weren't. So if he's not the greatest, he definitely one of them. Why is Missy Elliott in or LL Cool J in? You know, and I... Chris Jericho been sipping on that haterade or he don't took too many chair shots to the face because he has no idea what he talk about when he talk about Missy Elliott. If there's any musical Hall of Fame, Missy Elliott deserves to be in there. She was already in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Missy Elliott has some of the biggest hits of the last 50 years. This woman is iconic. Did you watch any of her videos? She changed music with videos. She changed things. She is a trendsetter. Legendary. And he said, LL Cool J don't deserve to be in the... What are you talking about, man? LL Cool J broke down barriers. You understand? He is the reason artists like Drake can succeed today. You know, LL Cool J is a great beyond rap. So to not even say he doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, I'm not even going to diss those rock bands that he named. I don't know them. But you know who LL Cool J is. Oh, well, man, we've all been there. Hey, what's going on? Oh, TJ's ready to take a shower with the other guys in gym. Oh. Now listen, TJ, this is nothing to be embarrassed about. What you're feeling is completely normal. That's right. You shouldn't have to worry about this, TJ. It's not your fault you haven't developed yet. <laughs> and if they laugh at you, TJ, it's their problem, not yours. That's right. You be proud of what you've got. It's what I tell myself. <laughs> Is it over for Tiffany Haddish? It's your man Jet Ride right here. And if somebody asked in 2018 who's about to be the biggest star of the 2020s, they might have said Tiffany Haddish. But one horrific skit brought back to the light, and now she's being blackballed, got me asking, is it over for Tiffany? Now, Tiffany was doing movies since the mid-2000s, but she didn't get her big breakthrough until 2017 with Girls Trip. Then she did Night School with Kevin Hart, and she even did a voice acting part in Angry Birds. Her star was bright! But a horrible skit that she did with Ari Spears was brought back to life in 2022, and she ain't been the same ever since. Now, that skit was disgusting, and she was sued for it. But the question now is... Was she just acting? I mean, she did something, but was she just being a desperate actor trying to get a role? I don't know, but it might be over for Tiffany Haddish because of that. Man, one thing for sure, your boy DJ Academics gonna be beefing with a female by some. It don't make no sense. I mean, he always puffing his chest out there as some female. Whatever Young Miami wanna do with Diddy or whoever, it's her business. This man actually gets sassy with with her about her decisions like this i'm not rocking with it bro i'm like i'm just not rocking with it i don't know how how his fans feel about this like he's always and the thing about it is when it's a dude and that dude can do something to him he backs down it ain't it, it ain't he ain't got that bravado but whenever it's a woman peep game when vic Mensa told him i slap you to your face at that studio that day it was no smoke it was nothing he kept doing the interview but young Miami or one of these girls, I do you, I get you all this, he all this, this drunk talk, man. I'm not rocking with it, man.